Hi, let me show you how to debug the game in the simulator. Here is the project, and in order to share your project with other students, you will not be able to change the configuration of this project. In particular, you will be able to add and subtract software to this file called spaceinvaders.c, and that will let the rest of the class play your game. We're going to run in this simulator, so things run very, very slowly. Uh, and so I'm going to reduce the delay here so that I don't have to wait a long time. Okay, let's run in the simulator. So we'll check uh, in the debug option that we have the simulator. This is Launchpad DLL version 6 or bigger. Okay, build, debug, okay. So all of the components of the game exist here in the simulator. Um, uh, here we have the Nokia. Uh, over here is the inner is the game console console. Uh, there's the DAC on this one, and so let me uh, single step uh, across the starter function. Okay. Uh, this will set the PLL to 80 megahertz. You see the PLL is now 80 megahertz. Uh, there I'm initializing the random number generator, initializing the Nokia. Clear buffer, if you remember, just clears a RAM buffer. The display buffer will punch up that RAM buffer onto the display. Where we cleared it, display is still clear. When we execute print, uh, that just draws into the RAM. So we see no change here. Okay, so step over, step over. Step over, step over, step over, step over, step over, and this one will draw the image on the screen. All right, so we stepped over that one. The display is clear. We move the cursor. Now out string and out deck will actually draw immediately on the screen. You see that? All right, uh, that was the starter code. Uh, let me shut this off and run my solution so you can see how this would have worked uh, when it's completely done. All right, so we go click, click, Quit this. Here we go to project. Open up my solution. Okay. Uh, again, it's got the same project here, and this will allow us to share our games with other people. Um, again, I'm in simulation mode, uh, so I can just hit debug. Okay. I've added an extra window here. Here's the logic analyzer, and so I can. I won't be able to hear the sound, but I'll be able to see the sound as my game runs. All right, there's the Nokia display. Uh, this is my uh, interaction cable. This is my interaction console. And I've set it up here in the, in the default or required configuration mode where uh, PE2 has the slide pot here. There's the slide pot. PE0 and 1 are my two buttons. Uh, PB5 and 4 are these two LEDs which can flicker. Um, uh, these buttons are special. Uh, they're different than the other buttons, and we'll see what happens when I press it. Uh, here's my DAC, which is connected to PD3 through 0. Um, and, no, P, oh, that's the inputs. Okay. The outputs are PB5, uh, uh, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And you can see I'm not using bits uh, 5 and 4. And so there's my uh, there's my DAC output. Okay, all right. Let's push the go button. And we'll see how slow my game actually runs. Okay, we're running now in the simulator, uh, and the the game. You can see I slide my slide pot around, uh, so I can move my 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 ship. Okay. This button here is called a, a momentary switch. I'm going to click it once and watch what happens. I click it once and it automatically shuts off. Okay. Um, up in this window, you saw the sound. Let me click it again. Let's go over and kill this guy here. Come on, get over there and shoot. Uh, and I killed that guy. You can see the sound occurring in this window. And I go over here. And I'll shoot again. Oh, he's shooting back. Get out of the way. Oh, no. Oh, no. Move. Ah, miss me. All right. Uh, I got a special weapons fire. That's this one. This LED on says, oh, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Okay. Missed it. All right. Runs a lot slower. Uh, right here, this is my special weapons fire. And I can shoot two at once. 
Uh, and oops, I just got died. Okay, so in summary, what we have here is the ability to run the game in simulation. Uh, it'll run about 10 times slower uh, than the real board. But we can see all the components. We can make sure that all of our software is working before we start debugging on the real board. All right, that's how it works, the first stage.